We're here with our friends from the Maryland Air National Guard working in this joint environment, seeing how they do things in terms of chemical decontamination and hazardous material handling, and also showing them how, how we do our specific skills so that we can come together in, in this unfamiliar environment and get the best of both worlds. Remember, it's joint, it's not just us. That's why we're, we're not just only teaching them, they're not only just teaching us. You know, it's, going to, it's a mix. haven't had this kind of unique training before and they're using this as, as a great opportunity to, uh, to learn new skills. We got together with the Army and decided we wanted to do a little bit of uh, joint kind of chemical training, see some of the similarities, some of the differences and show the Army guys the things that we do. I talk about the differences and that kind of stuff. We have a system here called the Hoop Decon, which is a technical decon. Um, specialized, you might say, um, to make sure that anything that you might be contaminated with you gets thoroughly cleaned off of you. Each year I've been with the unit, the training has gradually moved up. Uh, you know, we're, I think right now we're in the run phase, so just seeing some of my uh, colleagues and uh, some of the low enlisted soldiers actually get into the suit and go through everything. That's the best part of it. Least watch favorite your, part, uh, actually being out in that cold. Our biggest station, as which we are right now, is the uh, aircraft decontamination, uh, which we would normally call a DED for detailed equipment decontamination. Uh, when, in this case, it'll be um, more of what we call operational decon, learning how to quickly spray down an aircraft so pilots can enter it and still conduct mission. This is a, a very strong, significant part of our new missions now because we do need to be able to uh, integrate, not just with only Army units, but understand that there will be fire departments when you have natural disasters going on and we need to understand their techniques, which is why, again, we're here using their, their fire department. But the Air National Guard Fire Department here has, has absolutely uh, been fantastic in, in accommodating us here and making sure that, that both the Army and the Air Guard get excellent training out of this. First time we've uh, done any joint training with uh, another branch. Uh, most of our uh, members have deployed to joint bases, have worked in the joint environment, um, so it just made sense to include joint training into uh, what we do. Honestly, the Army and Air Guard sometimes don't speak the same language. The tactical radio training inside brings the Army and Air together to show how they communicate tactically in a, in a combat environment. This is definitely a great opportunity to, to work with another branch of the military and in a deployed environment, we'll definitely be working side by side with them and it's better to get that that understanding of how they operate now rather than um, trying to figure it out once we get there.